breakfast. Hey, hello. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I'm so picky. How's everyone doing? Hold on, wait, I'll switch this over in a sec. Let's just enjoy the music for a second. Good morning, everyone. Hi, hi, Locke. Welcome. Uh, today we shall be playing the expression of Amarato. It's a, uh, it's a uh, visual novel that was recommended to me by my wife. I'm gonna lower this music real fast. It was recommended to me by my wife, and uh, it was very cute. We're not talking about what happened in the first, for the first thing. I've been promised that nothing else will happen. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go play that. Uh, what time is it? We actually have time before we have to, though. Uh, but I, I generally don't care. <laughs> I genuinely just keep going. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over here. And I'm gonna move... Cat! Chicken! There's a chicken in chat. Hi! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ta-da! Bok, bok. Bok, bok. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna continue. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, so last I left off, we were looking at numbers, which is uno, two, tri, quav, quin, ses, sep, ok, now. And then this stuff, which adds do. I'm totally reviewing this for myself because I don't remember. This is gonna come up later, but sh it's fine. What you doing? We're doing a special about Murato. Which ones? Oh, damn. Uh, it's... I think it's Ok. <laughs> My angelic is scaring me. Oh, no numbers. Which... It's Ok, isn't it? It's the same answer, Rin! It's the same... <laughs> Nine. No. Oh no, it's numbers. Oh no, it's math. <laughs> it's like a dueling, but with waifus. Um, okay, so it's about a girl who gets who gets stuck in a separate dimension where they speak another language. So she's trying to learn that other language while living with her cute waifu. It's very cute. Ok. She's extremely dumb, by the way. <laughs> You know, this might be hard to see on stream for you guys, but then th there's an answer key like right, he right around, right next to Rin, where it's like uno, two, four, uh, when I can't pronounce the words because they're all in the other thing, but it's, it's very obvious. Oh, is this gay? It is gay. It's very gay. It's very cute and gay. Uh, God. <laughs> Okay, what's 23? What's 24? Well, it's two deck 12. Yeah, 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 let's go! <laughs> what's the number is 5? Uh, Queen. Yeah, Queen. Uh, what word Sergeant Sergeant says? Uh, that should be deck 2. You really should look at the questions to get it right, though. <laughs> You're not getting it right if you're not looking at the questions, okay? Uh, do deck do. Uh, 12. Deck do. Uh, which was in 19, so that should be deck now. She's proud of herself. She is, but it's not that hard. <laughs> uh, she's not very bright. It's. I'm not saying this to make fun of her, by the way. It's like part of her character. She's not very bright. So... <laughs> uh, I'm not good at those. Okay, okay. Lucent. Try deck. This one feels right. Uh, me! Impish! Impish! Hi! Uh, the wise detective one says stupid things are cute. Mm, mm, that's very true. Stupid things are cute. Uh, six is... Yeah, six is sense. 
Look at the question! <laughs> uh, number five? I really should have done this last time. <laughs> uh, Quim. You wrote it behind you, Rin. Uh, do a deck. Uh, lucky, 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 lucky for Mark. That's, that's fine. No worries. Uh, 700, uh, sub, subcent? Uh, your link had a bad extra estimation for it. No! Did it really? Does it have it on all of them? Hold on. <laughs> Give me... Oh no! Wait. I think it was just on yours. I think... It... Oh yeah, because I had to switch something, so it was just on yours, me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 11. 11. Okay, so that's deck uno. Damn, you sabotage me. Yeah, I sabotage you. You can't come watch me. You can't come watch. <laughs> I'm done yet, but I'm probably good. No, bad. Rin, come back here. We're practicing. My menu study mode. Number study unlocked. Uh, with the cute. Because she's cheating on me with the cute girl in me. <laughs> Useful pages. I will say for the context, I probably won't, uh... I probably won't pronounce any of it, because it's re I'm real bad. Accent bad for me. But... And I'm gonna butcher it, but this one's good morning. So that means morning. Uh, tough con. That's a uh, good day. Good evening. Good night. Okay. Salute, Hey. How are you doing? Slash, how are you feeling? Okay, okay. Salute, <laughs> Alright, what about this one? Wah! <laughs> Alright. Until next time. See you tomorrow. Uh, nice to meet you. Please. No problem. Calm down. Really. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this one's welcome. How much is it? Uh, me esta visitanto. I am a visitor. Uh, she can't speak to me. <laughs> that seems like a really important one to know. Uh, please show me your identification. I can't speak English. He's cute. He's very cute. I like that one. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what does it mean again? Uh, no problem, don't worry about it. Mm -mm. I thought that she's wearing uh, her girlfriend's shirt. She is wearing her girlfriend's shirt. It's very cute. Uh, oh God, frick. What does it mean? I'll uh, see you later. Ah, uh, till next time. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one's really. Ah, uh, uh, I believe that this one's good day. Yeah! 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 The power of memory and nothing else. Ah, <laughs> uh, tri... Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, 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 yeah. My intellect just scared me. <laughs> you <Yimbo. laughs> Oh, God. Uh, please tell me your identification. I'm done. What is? What's that mean? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. See, for what? <sighs> All right. See what happens, right? So for me, uh, so this game, I kept trying to play this. I've been trying to play this for like three weeks straight. But whenever I want, I need to go play it. My brain is like, uh, oh, you died now. You died now, huh? <laughs> Mio, Mio, bad. 
Smack! No, bad, bulk. Okay. Please. Uh. Oh god. Do I go with this one? <laughs> Guys, don't encourage her. Hey, L. It's an L. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks good though. Is it? <laughs> sure, 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 Mio. Sure, that's why you said it. I'm sure that's why you said it. Uh, nice to meet you. This is... Oh god, they all look the same. <laughs> I know fragments of the language. I know, I know. Okay, if you know fragments of the language, what's the right answer for this one? They all look the same to me. <laughs> ah, that dyslexia kicking in real good. Uh, oh, easily. Uh, that's one. Are you sure? Oh. You're right. Okay, so it's... Looks like that. Until next time. Oh god, why do they all look the same? I think it's this one. I told you I'm big brain. You are big brain. Thank you for help. Ah, uh, welcome. What? Huh. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, frick. Symbols. I'm so bad at this. So, back... <laughs> this is gonna... This is gonna expose me a bit. So, when I was really little, I tried to learn, like, Japanese and Rosetta Stone. And I learned, like, a couple, like, normal words. Like, uh... Onanako. Otonoko. Things like that. I learned, uh, like, boy, man, woman, and girl. <clears throat> but the, the thing is, right? They tried to, like, transition you into, like, learning the kanji and stuff. And I can't do that. <laughs> My brain physically cannot figure that out. So, one... What, 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 uh, I'm assuming it's one? Oh, it's an... It's the X-looking thing. See, I know... This one... Two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, keep going. I don't know what I'm doing, but please. Uh this one. Uh calm down. Oh god. Ah. Uh... You know, it's probably better if I guess and get it wrong. I don't know what it means, Ren. <laughs> oh, still. Okay. Where you have to make your wife. Imagine if this game put you in a situation where you have to make you have to calm down the wife and it makes you pick the right words in the situation. I would panic. I wouldn't be able to do it, guys. Still. Ah, uh, Chun. Okay. No problem. Uh, they look the same. These are the same. I think it's two. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, until next time. Oh. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I didn't know. That did no translation into English. I feel that. Uh, uh, think. I'm gonna go with two again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm getting this. <laughs> I'm on a roll now. I'm a visitor. Uh. Oh God, these are all the same. Is it? All right, it's gonna be the first one. How much does it cost? Wah. I'm gonna assume one? 
Okay, so it's with a K. Gotcha, gotcha. Doesn't speak. Uh, it's 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 three because I remember that one because it's important that I know that one. So Zaragoza is like S, I think. But so are the S's. What? People. <laughs> no, keep going. I don't know what I'm doing. Come back, come back. <laughs> Um, in your study mode, uh, example sentence study unlocked. So after studying for almost an hour, I had a thought. Homeschooling really isn't my thing. In that case, there's only one thing to do. So, I headed down to the shopping circuit and ready to ride this wave of enthusiasm into actual practice. Last time, I couldn't talk to anyone or do anything, but this time would be different. No. I put some fresh NL bills from my allowance into my wallet to bring with me. This time, I'd be shopping the Vend Revenge. I'd realized something over the past few days. They aren't kidding when they say the lacking shopping causes stress to build up. Just walking around with money like this feels like I could buy something if the mood struck me. Help lower my anxiety levels a little. <laughs> I said to myself, even as I remembered what my original goal was. I wasn't just here to satisfy my greed. The shopping trip was to help me practice. To help me calm down. To help calm down, I walked from one end of the shopping district to the other to see what was being sold. Thanks to Ruka's little tour yesterday, I wasn't afraid to peek into some storefronts. Hold on, wait, guys, I gotta clear your nap. There we go. <laughs> I went into the uh, the, the bookstore, and a voice suddenly called out. I was a little startled, but I was alright. I remember the translation. Or, uh, that word being a printout, so I, I scrutinized back at the part. I nodded to myself as I looked around the store. I found a section of several books that looked like dictionaries in protective sleeves. Could they be a Japanese dictionary? Fortunately, the only options were Julie Amel to unknown language dictionaries. The content of the last one I picked up made me think it was. Juliamo to probably English dictionary, and I was torn over whether or not I should get it. The English wasn't good enough, though, so I couldn't even tell for sure if it was the same as the English I was familiar with, so I gently placed it back on the shelf. I learned that Japanese documents Miss Ray showed me as they had been made through a collaboration of visit visitors who wound up here from various worlds. Even the Japanese when I read through my tears had some mystery letters mixed in once I got to the second page, so it wasn't quite spot on either. Well, still it was better than nothing. I managed to learn a what little I had thanks to the Japanese translation created by the corporation of those who came before me. If I had the opportunity, I'd do my part to contribute as a visitor too. And if I did, I might be rewarded with the job. I may want to learn more words as fast as I could. And so, I made my way to a section that seemed to have magazines on display. I picked up one that caught my eye, flipped through its context, the article... The article seemed to be related to sightseeing trips, with pictures of beautiful scenery and couples walking together. I didn't understand any of the words, but I could guess what it was about from the photos and illustrations. I decided to pick a different one. I skimmed across the various covers before my eyes landed on something that had an air of teen fashion magazine. But, 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 just as I reached out, my interest peaked. I realized it was tightly sealed in shrink wrap, making it possible to confirm its contents. Was this their way of saying you have to buy to read? 
I was waffling over whether or not to buy it when I saw the store clerk watching me. I felt wrong to put it back at this point, so I made up my mind and brought it to the register. And I handed over the magazine and... Nice. I said the words I had practiced over and over again in the apartment. I am a visitor. The clerk said... I was safe. I could still barely remember the translation. I promptly pulled out pulled my visitor identification card out of my wallet and showed it to her. She looked between the card and me, tilted her head to a little. Was there some kind of problem with my photo? Or with me? Ah, that's the that's the That's the name? That's how much we need need to give. Uh... Oh, the first shopping trip had ended without incident somehow. I had a bonus. And as I had a bonus, the visitor special made a half price. I got it for three fifty. Ooh. Mm. That's so long to say. First three hundred is three time is tri cent. Then fifty is queen deck. And you stick and node at the end. Was this like a game or some kind of magic spell? I headed back to Ruka's apartment in high spirits, where I promptly got into something more comfortable. Then I doped into the sofa and opened the magazine, ready to relax. Contents were about what I expected. It was like a fa the fashion magazine for my world, starting with the articles I could tell there were seasonal features based on the photos. The long skirts they were all wearing caught my attention. I don't think Aruka and Miss Race have been on long side too. And lounge as I continue to flip through the pages. I knew it was bad manners, but I was the only one here, so whatever. I put my hands on my swords and tried to imagine myself in a skirt. I might and I might be able to make up for it by wearing extra long socks. Bes Besides, there are bound to be other fashionable coordinations. I flipped through the other pages, watching the top changes as I progressed. Suddenly, there were pictures of lighter outfits. The sleeveless look was a little too unforgiving, even for the petrol t-shirt level for me. As a little surprised when I saw the underwear feature in the next page. And then I flipped for their head. It was that of a girl in a racy pose, but I couldn't I couldn't help but stare. I had a feeling the focus was was meant to be like another stylish bra and more of the skin underneath. She's hella gay. She's hella gay. Um, wasn't a pair of sexy people eyes with their legs and they're trying kind of putting an emphasis on romance. <laughs> Was this really a fashion magazine? <laughs> Mio! Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, Mio! <laughs> the pieces were close enough to be on the verge of kissing, their hands seemed to run over each other's back. <laughs> I was still processing what I was saying, and I heard the, front, the lock on the front door turn. I heard to close the magazine and put out the end table. I would die if you saw something like that. <laughs> this game is so gay. <laughs> so very, very gay. Oh my god. For now, I would just have to hide it somewhere inconspicuous. Wait, no, no. I looked around, but I couldn't find anywhere to hide it. What do I do? What do I do? What should I do? Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> Mia, does this actually matter? 
because <laughs> let's take this through. Okay, okay. So we 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 bought a maybe. <laughs> this is clearly a flag. This is clearly a flag. This is. Uh, I got food. What happened? Ah, uh, she main character bought a racy magazine. <laughs> We're hiding her racy magazine. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. So you could put it under the pillow and she would feel it when she sits down. That's hella risk. But if you like put it on top of the table, then she'll see it immediately. You gotta put it underneath the sofa, right? That's like the only MC is cultured. She didn't know though. <laughs> she didn't know it was racy, so it's like hard. <laughs> God damn it, Rin. Alright, we're gonna put it underneath the sofa. Oh yeah, there's no way she would see it underneath the sofa. Well, she drops when he has to look on her couch. There's no good option! You put it on the table, wanna know what she's gonna do? She's gonna see it immediately! <laughs> Sometimes the best place to hide is in plain sight, though. Eh! <laughs> well, too late, I chose it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it handy dot to read later. <laughs> the came in with shopping bags of both hands and I ran to take them from her. I was happy to lend a hand. I quickly sorted through everything, putting the vegetables and the like in the refrigerator. What did it mean that I was always acting like I lived here after being a freeloader with for less than a week? Was it strength of her hospitality? Or had I grown shameless? Oh no, had you noticed? <laughs> God, Rin, really don't admit that! Do they understand each other? Uh, okay, so... We understand about as much as Rin does, so... Uh, when... Uh, Ruka says something, we're doing our best to, like, translate it. It's a game about, like, translating things and falling in love despite, like, a language barrier. It's very cute. I shut the fridge door and headed back to the sofa. And she came with me. Where did you go today? Rika's good. Man, Rika's good. Because what she's doing is she's saying the word and then repeating it in the language we know. That's real handy. That's real nice. I really didn't want to lie to her, so I tried answering what the word I remember here, like... You kept pushing like this, though. My hiding place would be discovered! Ruka <laughs> repeated my word back to me. I was getting desperate to change the subject somehow. Then I just had a sudden thought. <laughs> I decided bluntness would work the best. As I watched her move away from the sofa towards the room, I breathed the sigh of relief. My plan was never to mention the magazine again. This is gonna come up again, isn't it? This is gonna <laughs> sell behind you. <laughs> Night's dinner was Ruka's special vegetable stir fry. Thank <laughs> you! Uh, self 100, bonne! Bonne! <laughs> I never played with smile like basic earlier just how good it had been. It was seasoned just the way I liked it, the rice was so good, I help I had helped myself to seconds. <laughs> you know Red. You yeah <laughs> It looks like she wasn't familiar with the, that word. I wonder if there's a way to explain it through gestures. Just give my cross across. Not that I expect the chopper to expand into anything else. If I had been a boy, that wife might, might have been carried a little more weight. Nah, there is no way. Even assuming you'd understand the situation, it'd be next to impossible to imagine me as her partner. Hmm? I wonder. They have some slightly boyish features, so maybe it would be easier than I thought. What if there's a one in a million chance that Ruka would be interested? 
Moon has bunny pajamas. Ruka has bunny pajamas. Oh my god. <laughs> Rin gay, Rin be gay. <laughs> I didn't really know why, but my face was suddenly on fire, and I wanted to get out of here. I gathered up our dishes and stood, heading for the kitchen. It was all just a bunch of what ifs. Even if Ruka was embarrassed in the situation where I was a boy, that would be cute in its own way, and that'd be fine with me. Why did I have to go so far to imagine her as my wife this whole time? <laughs> I appreciate how gay the this visual novel was. <laughs> it's very nice. Then my hand stopped in the middle of washing the dishes. What if things were reversed? What if I were the wife and Rika was... She asked again! She asked again! Oh, it's a very rare mm -mm. Guys, you have more like gay visual novels. Please send them over. I'd be so down. As long as they're not like, you know... Naughty. Uh, I turned towards her voice. I see Ruka holding out something out to me. Wait, was that the magazine I hid under the sofa? <laughs> you know me? I rushed over to as I dried my hands, took a deep breath, and put on a magnificent smile and said, <laughs> Ask Mew for gay stuff. That's a good idea. Mew has some weird taste. Is, does she? Yeah, I'd, I'd want it to be like a... I like I like it to be homo romantic asexual though. So like the like this one generally is. For a second, I wondered if she was trying to repeat back what I had said, but she wasn't. <laughs> Ruka, no, no, Ruka, no. Just she wanted to look inside. <laughs> what have you done bringing forbidden books in this home? Listen! Ruka might be into it, bud. It'd be too much for Ruka. So, as a retrieval older, I took responsibility for of a big sister in man's situation. I had to, it was the right thing to do. eyes full of hope. And maybe just want to flex and say, yeah, sure. She <laughs> loosened her grip for a switch at the end and I quickly snatched it out of her hand and held it out of reach. Ruka pouted and began jumping up and down like a rabbit trying to take it back. <laughs> she looked cute like that. I bought... I brought it down until it was just within her reach and brought it back up then down. <laughs> Aww, aww. <laughs> she knows. Okay, so I was <laughs> I'm replaying the the events in my head. The person looking looking definitely checked her age and she oh god damn it, Rin <laughs> Suddenly she tacked me onto the sofa. Aww Aww this unexpected turn of events shunned me into silence. Still, I patted myself on the back, thinking I for, thinking of using my body as a shield to grab the magazine. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rika looked around. This was my chance. I held my arms over my head, acting like I was surrendered. And I glanced over the table for a split second, hoping Rika would be sufficient my hammer and get off of me. Instead, she shook her head back and forth. <laughs> Aww, hello gay, very gay. <laughs> Oh my god, cute, cute, very cute. Oh, so cute. Infish, if that's for me, because I'm thirsty, shut up. <laughs> she only became more persistent. The top, the top, the top's coming in! <laughs> Except she hardly weighed anything. I hardly turned the terminals of a moment if I felt like it. That's why I didn't feel a sense of urgency. My whole body doesn't survive. It's just like poking... Something poked my unguarded left flank. I could stand a <laughs> I'm not short! Sure. 
those ticklets? <laughs> Are you ticklets? No! No! <laughs> Why is she touching me there again? <laughs> I couldn't stand being tickled. I tried to twist away from her. But if I move too much, it'd be the treasure! Don't call it the treasure! <laughs> Give a wordless pleading smile. I feel like you understand what I meant. <laughs> I wasn't wearing a. So I turned the wrong way. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you just oh, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, I squealed as she changed her target to my right side, and she instantly put a hand over my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I really like this But man, is this a risk Every single time, she's so top She's very top uh, This was bad, very bad If I couldn't get a hold of myself, she'd make me her plaything I had to do something before the situation got any worse Performance here. I doubt she doesn't understand even a second of it. <laughs> With my hits in the air. If things kept going later, I asked. <laughs> Take a decent bigger help, what would happen if I did? <laughs> Rin! Rin! <laughs> Rin! <laughs> Pull it together! Pull it together! <laughs> Even in a situation like this, especially in a situation like this, I had to calm myself and look at the best way out. I figured everything would be alright if I just asked her seriously, even if she didn't understand my words. Huh? She took her hands away. You seem to be thinking about something. Why is she nodding her head while saying my name over her again? <laughs> Either way, I couldn't breathe a sigh of relief now that she released my hip. I didn't want to say anything to be so I tried to quietly fix it for her and... Not again, she suddenly put me down with another attack. Then her legs were... The way you have to be a parent so much. It's so good. It's real good. Gay panic, but my god, Mio. <laughs> I squeezed my legs together to try to make her stop. Unfortunately, the tactic was a failure. <laughs> Mio! <laughs> there was no resisting the warmth coming off of Ruka's bare skin. <laughs> it was so different than my own naturally cold skin, so warm. It wasn't just that. <laughs> what was this? And I'm trying to show how different her legs were in comparison to my very fat, rough ones. If that was the case, I'd give her a taste of her own medicine. Even though it was, it was so real close, I apparently patted all of her over arms and sides. I'm not even apologizing anymore. <laughs> I respect the wholesome gay relationship. <sighs> Mio, it's very wholesome. This, <laughs> this is gonna be, this is, this is a little too questionable for me. I don't know, there's just a lot of- There's just a lot of touching! <laughs> like, okay, really, is that- Is that right? Is that right? Is that- Is this a norm, normal? 
Ugh. The results were in. She may have looked frail, but her time life was unmatched with softness and touchability. I couldn't help but think of it as cheating. Uh, it's a mess. <laughs> uh, no fair. That's a villain. <laughs> oh, man, I'm surprised you don't have a body like that. You eat nothing. That's sweet. <laughs> right? Actually, right? She described her like slime or jello. <laughs> Ah, uh, this 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 visual novel. I didn't even care anymore. I gave in to the victor's demand. What? I felt something be pulled out from under me, reached out of both hearts in a panic. But there was nothing I could do. <laughs> the dangerous magazine was in Ruka's hand. Ah, uh, damn it is getting dumped. Ah, <laughs> uh, the top works are magic. I tried to grab back rooms. He skillfully kept me at bay as he opened and began to look over the contents. Blanca Lilio. I feel like I heard that somewhere before. Oh, I remembered. Is the title of the magazine the clerk at the book store said? Now that I heard it out loud, I could fake out the cover's logo. You open up the page featured the alphabet coordination and point to the one photo out the other. You asking for my opinion. I try to keep up the conversation going while getting close to her getting her to close it before she could go to the next page. I tried to play it safe by picking a short shortish skirt that looked like it'd be easy to move around in. And Ruka Okay, it's not Tia, so those, those are cute. Okay, as long as we're gonna stay safe, that's fine with me. <clears throat> she tapped you a decent picture of a long skirt, then grabbed the hem of her own skirt and gently swung it around, giving a sideways look as she's waiting to see my reaction. But she made me recommending a similar smile to me. No! No! Tell her she's cute! Tell her she's cute! She was like a long skirt. <clears throat> if that's the case, then I had to respond, right? I was at the point in the same picture and then I stopped myself. Just now, Rickman asked me which one I liked. So that means she's, she was asking, what was she asking before? <clears throat> if this question wasn't, which do you prefer, but which do you think looks good on me? In my case, my answer would almost be the exact opposite. <clears throat> Ruka froze. Maybe I used some Japanese words she didn't know? Idiot Rin! Bad! Idiot Rin! <laughs> In this case, I had to explain it so she could understand. I called myself and tried to organize my thoughts. Oh, Myself was me. You was me. And I heard that enough times that I could guess what is is S does. Hmm. So, in order to say that your current one suits you best, I would say... <laughs> Just go... Crap, I didn't know words at all. I didn't know the right grammar either. I decided to throw some gestures. I was planning to ask you to help me out, but Ruska's expression was frozen in place. Her hand was still mechanically moving through the pages, though. <laughs> Ruka gave me Her feet looked splashed, actually, her whole face seemed to be red. For some reason, her breathing was ragged. <laughs> I quickly set the magazine back and threw it behind the sofa, but Rika has already seen too much. After that, for the rest of the day, until we turned off the lights and went to sleep, we said we went without saying much of anything. <laughs> Today's lesson. Wow. Wow.
Uh, there's something I <clears throat> I had learned to do suddenly every time I woke up. <laughs> uh, this, this one might be too much for me. <laughs> I just had to tell him the pocket... On time on the pocket watch for a bot for me. Since the sky had never changed, it was really hard to tell one day from the next. Our exchange of words from the market start of a new day. Wait, just how did... Just now I responded to Ruka without even thinking. Have we actually communicated? Bonna, preceded by Mateon. Uh, Taco and Vesfaro. Putting the end at the end of each one made. Uh, good morning. Good day. Good evening. So it's like some kind of logic behind their construction. But for now, I didn't really care about logic. I was okay with being... with just being understood. I can't imagine... I'll get much more than that. Okay. I'll trust you, I'll trust you. Uh, the... K though, kinda looks like a K. It kinda didn't... What if it was pronounced the same? Like, ok, instead of ok. Would that mean, okay, fine. But the other person would go, would hear 8. Probably wonder why... <clears throat> Something like, where did 8 come from all of a sudden? In a similar vein, everything I set up to the point... Would have been misunderstood, and it's possible Rick and I never would have established communication. I want to keep things concise, but ram a rambling stream of words fell out of my mouth. If I could just learn the words to get by a day-to-day -day life, I might be able to broaden my range of expression a little bit. She nodded without saying a word, taking a notebook out of her bag and opening it. And there were a ton of Julia Lidiamo words. Uh, that's convenient design, right? Right? That's real nice. I stopped freaking in the middle of the explanation and took the notebook for me, confirming each word as I followed them with my finger. It looked like there were nine words starting with key, but they all were so similar it seemed extremely hard. Rin, Rin, we're in this together. I swear to God. <laughs> <clears throat> It wasn't clear... It wasn't clear how she inter interpreted my words, but Rika smiled, opened the notebook on a different page where she had several cards prepared. On one of the flashcards the drawing was a frying pan. Mm, mm. So if I choose the word, they choose their illustration. Me choose? <clears throat> Rin! <laughs> It sounded like some kind of attack, like, TAKE THIS THUNDER VULTURN! I like between the drawing and the notebook she was holding out. What a good kid. Ah, oh, Rika is so nice. She is very nice. She did just pick up a lost puppy and took her home, you know? Inada with a smile, I gave her a nod of response. 
I didn't have any other choice at this point. Or so I thought. As we Japanese say, you can't fight on an empty stomach. Please choose a word. Okay, let's start here. Alright, so pat pato is pan. <laughs> okay, Pato's pan. Your photo is. Your photo is. Uh. Pot? Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Okay, which one's the one on the right? Oh, that's real. That's easy to remember. Mm -mm. Uh... Oh, she's... I understand what she's asking now. Okay, so what she's asking is, which one is, um... X word? Is it the right or is it the left? That took me way too long to figure out what she was saying. <laughs> This one. Because the other one's tomato. <clears throat> Dextra, maldextra, but instead of your right and left. Okay, so here's the issue, right? You can see, like, right and left right there. Just change... The, the word itself isn't... Hi, clean his face! Hi! Oh my god, how are you doing today? Hello! Thank you for the space support, as always. Uh... Okay, so... The issue with, like, right and left, right? Is that they both seem the same to me. I don't... I'm very directionally challenged. So, when... I can figure out which one they mean. If I don't focus on the right and left part, but I was very confused. Check, uh, new words. Well, uh, don't teach me new words. Ah, uh, what is this? Okay. Yeah, sweet. Hey, space. How have you been, space? Oh, this is. Oh, snap. Uh, it's this one. With your weights. Yeah, because it sounds like a two. Ah, so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Uh, this should be this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a pretty direct translation, sweet, right? Right? Bonne. It's this one again. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Guys, he's proud of us! Oh god, what? This one should be this one. I've never felt more achieved in my life until Ruka was proud of us, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hmm, <laughs> it's carrot. <laughs> what? Mio! You weren't following me, why? <laughs> Thank you for the follow out. <laughs> Welcome back to the Motems, I guess. <laughs> uh, this one's Pato. Hmm, had to follow up with a stick cover play. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Man, I'm real good at these. Yeah, this is how I personally learned. Oh, oh. Yeah, kitchen knife. Final stage. 
Wait, hold on, wait, this is this is very strangely. Uh use this for cooking, can't you? Like can't you use this for cooking? Or is it like you can't use this for cooking? This is very important distinction in the brain of someone with dyslexia. Hold on. <laughs> me, hold, me, hold on. Wait, is she asking me if you can use this for cooking or if you can't use this for cooking? Uh you can use it for cooking, can't you? Yes. Okay, okay. Lettuce. Yes. Manjajo is food. Ne. straight coming at you, grammar lesson too, Rika's hella smart teacher, right? I think, okay, something I've really liked about this game so far is that there's multiple ways that they've been teaching people. Like, um,. It definitely isn't usually in my warehouse for like you to teach me like the letters and expect me to get it. So it, it's, it's I really appreciate it. Like there's so many different ways that they're teaching us language, because then there's gonna you repeat. This is a good way for people to find out like which one of these ways clicks really clicks for you, and that'll help you learn languages in the future. For me, this is working. This is working fine, fine. No. Please answer without look. Translation. Ah! Is this food? I think. Can you eat this? No. Ah, oh, damn, I messed up. <laughs> they all said the same to me. That's actually really clear. Okay, let's try again. Uh. Okay. No. I think curiado is kitchen. Oh, that explains it because curry. Uh, that's it. That's in a lot of the uh kitchen words. Just like goma, I mean. The goma might be vegetable, I think. Tensido is knife. Mm mm, I got that. Uh. Tensido is kitchen knife. What's a legoma? I think this is a no. Yeah, I think that means like vegetable. Uh, that is my hot, my hot, hot take. This one's food. Oh. I got it wrong because it wasn't the same. <laughs> All for now. How many stars do I get? Almost perfect. <laughs> I'll practice it again later. The lights in the room went out, and Ruka headed towards her bedroom. I absently watched her leave before throwing myself across the sofa with a gentle sigh. The study session that I expected to start right after breakfast hadn't actually gone underway until later that afternoon. I thought it'd be simple, since it started off as just memorizing words from pictures, but it ended up being pretty hard. I knew I should have remembered them, but over time I couldn't tell one word from the other. Over and over, I would think which one was which again. I felt like I had been working my brain lately. In spite of it all, I didn't feel bitter about it. All I could think was studying was fun. With Ruka as my tutor, I'll definitely wind up smart enough to get into a famous school, no problem. Maybe just not a linguist one? <laughs> Even so, if I kept learning things at this rate, I'd be able to make at least minimal conversation in no time. I decided to use this time before I went to bed reviewing grammar. When the simply accepted structure is XX is YY. Why? This sentence begins with ku and ends with ng, which means you 
Expect a yes slash ne answer in response. The estas visitanto, you are a visitor. Who vi estas visitanto, are you a visitor? I figured, then figuring I probably understood. I probably but decided to check just to make sure. Vi estas visitanto, you are a visitor. Uh, ku estas visitanto, ku ne? You are a visitor, aren't you? Turned up the another way of asking a question. I was sure I'd get by somehow. Next, if you had a question that couldn't be answered with yes or ne, the key series looked harder. Uh, kia. What kind? Uh, kia. Where? Yo, what? There are numbers of other keywords. I knew there's no way I'd memorize them all. For now, remember the special phrases Ruka used. I was just thinking that would be simple English translations like, what is this, so I wouldn't forget. As long as I had this in my pocket, I'd be invisible. Or not, but at least I'd have a chance to make conversations with people other than Ruka. For instance, when I was shopping, even I couldn't spell it. Even if I couldn't spell it, if I could just in imitate the pronunciation I get by somehow. I drifted off for a second. Oh, um, yeah, something like I'd get by somehow. Positive. I'll be. I'd been thinking positive. If nothing else, I'll be able to communicate. If I said something a little off, I'd probably be embarrassed. Even so, I had to try. I felt the. I felt the close, warm presence of a girl who shouldn't have been there. She felt close enough to make me think she was sleeping right next to me. It was probably definitely just a dream. She had gone back to her room after all. So there was no way she could be with me. I had a ha had I had a habit of lucid dreaming. In these situations, I couldn't make things go. Couldn't I make things go however I wanted? If that was the case. I decided I wouldn't even move a muscle. The curious sense of realism was comforting. I wanted to stay like this a little longer. Even if it's just a dream, having Rika by my side made me feel calm. <laughs> Aww. <coughs> but in the real world, I would have to learn to take care of myself before long. To learn more words so I can communicate my thoughts to other people. If I could do that, I could find my own way without fear. And if I could erase my fear, I could get by normally, like I always had. The past was in this world. Would my future be in this world? Before I can answer that, was my present real? What if I had died and I fell back into the shopping district? And this is where I ended, had ended up. If that were true, was I a spirit? Or th that matter, was this girl too? No, no matter how you looked at it, Rukin and I weren't the same. It would make more of a sense if I was lost spirit and she were a guardian angel. I love you, you're not smart. I didn't know if I had accomplished much during my short life, but God apparently led me here. There's something serious that's some serious special treatment. Heck yeah, I was super lucky. <laughs> Thinking of it like that, a peaceful future wouldn't be possible. If I was dead, there'd be nothing more I could do. Unless I could come back to life? Was that something I could accomplish by myself? Or would I have to pass some kind of test first? Blah. If the rules were as simple as getting another go at things for being a good person, then I might stand a chance. If that was the case, how long would I have to wait? What if I wasn't allowed to go back until a really long time has passed when my mom and dad and everyone else has already forgotten me? What if it went beyond being forgotten and I was rejected in a time where not a single person I knew, even knew, had been alive? It wouldn't be much different from things now, right now. No, even I couldn't be sure that no one would, no one would know about me. Oh, that's right, reincarnation! A brand new future, totally unconnected to the past. I can show up my... A whole new me in a world without ties. 
Good, good. Oh, nice. I was really looking forward to it. What kind of girl would I be? Oh, or maybe, could I be a boy? Wait, what if I could choose my sex? Well, I just assumed the best case scenario where I could choose whatever I wanted. I've only wanted to stay in Japan. And for my parents. Assuming I could pick whatever I wanted, right? But how come? Even in my imagination. Even in my visions. Even in my fantasies. And all of them. Why were their familiar faces all I can think about? Maybe because I couldn't go back. Maybe because looking back was pointless. Because all I could do is move forward because I wanted to stay positive. Even in my dreams, I couldn't decide what I wanted. Suddenly I thought I heard someone say my name and looked over. Ruka was there. Aww. I never imagined someone committing another person in their sleep. There isn't any need to ask her to keep it to herself. As long as the real Ruka didn't know anything about it, there wouldn't be any problem. Because Rin's just an idiot! <laughs> God damn it, Rin! It's like 10 seconds of thinking! <laughs> I was thinking about to stroke her head when I noticed. Back of my hand was wet. Her cheek was wet too. Had I been crying? It's not usual to have some tension is this real. Don't tell me. <laughs> Rin! <laughs> was this real? If that was the case, then Ruka beside me was also real. No. Couldn't be. Definitely had seen Ruka go to her room before I went to sleep. I heard her say goodnight with my own ears. Wait a minute. What if I had already been dreaming at this point? I wasn't sure. I couldn't be sure of anything now. What if the boundaries was even further back? And this whole lost in a parallel region thing was still just a dream. Uh, I had the same back thought back at the park. When I had... It was when I had stopped thinking this might be all impossible. But the truth was, I was more doubtful than ever. I kept on doubting I might wake up and... Aww. Aww, Rika has fair problems too. I didn't think they'd tackle it. Aww. Baby. I didn't know anything. So I was just trying to escape by denying everything. But with Ruka snuggling close like that, there was nowhere I could go. But whenever I would freeze up hearing Juliana, she would immediately switch language and explain things to me clearly. The truth is, she was much better at Japanese than me. Was she holding back in front of me, making her seat sound a little stiff on purpose? I wasn't the kind of girl to put on an act like that. She did everything very seriously. Could I really live up to her institutions? Trying my hardest. We're not even gonna... We're not even gonna, like, start with the other one. You're gonna do your best, Rude! I was always seeing improvement from today's study session, so that gave me a little confidence. But complacency and negligence go hand in hand. Starting tomorrow, I would push myself even harder. Right now, I was going to leave things like... Right now, I was just going to leave things like this. What for River was keeping me afloat right now? No! Damn, I wanted to take a picture! Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, that was so cute! That was so cute! Oh. 
I like the heavy suggestion that Ruka heard crying and went to go take care of her. That's so cute. Oh, baby. Same thing happened yesterday when Ruka and I studied together, but I was absent glance at glance the clock. I was shocked to see how much time had passed, even more than I thought. Also, yes, Ruka is a good wife. Yeah, yeah. I finally got everything ready. Need to close, check. Wallet, check. Notebook, check. At long last, I knew the spellings of things. Of uh, Paradu. What I do in pattern don't know. And what's more, I knew the difference. Forgive me. I beg your pardon. Ah. What I do was like a lighthearted sorry in my bed, and part of but I don't know. But slightly more sincere and nuanced, maybe. One bad apology had the potential of in perceivable change in my life, so I had to be careful. I had until Ruka got back. I was gonna surprise her by getting here all the necessary ingredients and have dinner ready by then. That means I didn't have time to waste. Ah, she's gonna go get food! I still thought I see that it's dashed outside. The easiest target would be the station. There's a five minute walk away. Going by how things were in my old world, the story I had in mind would be on the building's first floor. Okay, guys, give me, give me like one second. I'm gonna tap my headphones for a sec. Uh, hmm. Uh, symbols I don't know hard. <laughs> symbols I don't know makes my brain hurt. <laughs> it was like that when I was learning English too, like learning how to write. I had a lot of trouble, like similar to this, where it's like all the words, all of them letters look the same. And I'm- I'm feeling it again! Like, just staring at this... And watching, like, the, the letters... Just kinda look similar. Hmm. I'm sorry guys, just give me like a second. <laughs> I'll be back in time just a little bit. And again, you guys can't hear it, but I- I got crickets in my room right now. And they're just loud. Why are crickets loud? Why do crickets chirp? Oh, I... Why do crickets chirp? Chirp during the day. Uh, they sleep during the day. So the temperature has an effect on the speed of your chirps, chirp. Chirp faster during the day as opposed to the dark of night. Why do crickets chirp? Uh, the chirp created when the front moves on greater. Oh, it's attract females, so they, they're trying to reproduce. That's weird. That's weird. Alright, let's go back to it. Bingo. Bleh. <laughs> the interest was slightly different uh, in a slightly different place, but I saw that I wanted on the other side of the sliding glass stories, a supermarket. It was pretty big, so as long as there's some sort of grocery section, I should be able to get everything I needed. As for what to buy, I would have to look into it firsthand before deciding. With a thought in mind, I went to the automatic sliding doors, but I stopped in my tracks as soon as I picked up the basket. It was definitely a place for shopping. But I got a feeling there was a critical flaw in my plan. Just like the bookstore the other day, my heart wasn't set on just shopping. I also have a conversation with the store clerk. If I paid at the register, I'd be lucky to say anything more than dink on. Shopping this room would be better. I won't be able to get everything in one stop there, but I have to visit each of the shops one by one. If they're out of anything I need, I always can come back here. Gently return the basket and head it inside. Today's goal was to initiate a conversation, even if I can only manage a few words. I had to retain what I learned yesterday by using it while it was still fresh in my mind. Uh, first, I had to think about what sort of dinner I was going to make. I should start by excluding anything that we had recently. Next step would be to rule out anything too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Rick a good wife. Rin, become a good wife. Sandwich, grilled fish, fried rice, omelette rice. A mix of Japanese, Chinese, and Western cuisine made for a fairly broad repertoire. Is there anything that we haven't hit yet? I try. I decided to change up my thinking. Instead of coming up with with a dish, I started looking for ingredients I wanted to eat. But why Napa cabbage? It wasn't like I loved it or anything. It's because I saw it during yesterday's study session. That's why. There's also been cabbage and lettuce and cabbage. Rin is simple. Napa cabbage, napa cabbage made me think of what? Kimchi? Not only did I know how to not know how to make it, there wasn't enough time before dinner to, to make anything pickled. In that case, uh, was there anything that uses napa cabbage as a main ingredient? If you switch to cabbage, you can make okinomiyaki. How difficult of an ingredient had I picked for myself? Was there anything that I could just fill out? Oh no, I could spend it forever and I'm still not settled on anything. Probably wouldn't be able to do anything with the next ingredient I thought of either. Level cooking experience was pathetic, which means my repertoire was equally pathetic. You should have learned from mom. Too late for that now. So, so, all I could do was keep an open mind for the future. What if I gave up worrying about individual ingredients and went with combinations? Some kind of dish with a mix of various vegetables. For seasoning, I would need salt, pepper, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce. And that all sounded good. Even I couldn't muddle through a frying pan. I couldn't make heads or tails with the signs. But for now, I would just check the storefronts. But after searching the shopping district up and down, I hadn't seen anything that looked like a produce store. This was troubling. At this rate, I have no choice but to go back to the supermarket. It was on the street I passed through often back in my world. I didn't even remember spotting it on the day I ran all over looking for my house. <laughs> the perfect produce store. It wasn't, but at least it seemed they had vegetables. Alright, today I'm gonna start a conversation with the store clerk. <laughs> She responded without hesitation, I just nodded, vaguely understanding what she said. Except I didn't see the break of stride at all. The story could kept talking with a smile on her face. Are you looking for anything? Or do you need a minute, maybe? Trying to keep a conversation with going any further without understanding what she said, it was too risky. A few years passed in this situation to show my identification right off the back. Oh, she's talk she talked about slower. She's talking slower. <laughs> You're a visitor. Oh, you are a visitor. Uh... Yeah, I'm assuming it's just... She said I don't know where I could. I didn't have a slightest clue why she would be apologizing, but I was at least relieved she understand I was a visitor. I'm pretty sure you going to be annoyance from this point forward, so I went ahead and apologized. When you blink to blink, blink, blink. Uh, when did you come to this place? I can understand my words, but I could make a meaningful sentence out of them. Do you... Are not... I understand, maybe? She was kind of speak slowly, but so incomprehensible to me. It made me wish I had something more before accepting this challenge. Then we might be able to get more fruitful conversation. Do you know what this is? Do you 
Yeah. Crap. It's not like the member would have any idea that we studied yesterday. I had to explain something. I thought I was about my arms ner ner nervously. And I know something. Circling had taken a daikon in her hand. Rafana. Yes. Uh, Ruka has been saying she tio. Tortor is right. <laughs> they have two different meanings. It's okay. It's okay, Rin. Well, as long as the other person understood. At any rate, I understood what you were saying this is Rafana. In that case, I work out the cards to ask your question. I asked her using Rika's the Tio. Yes! Tio is this a lot. No, Kure! Tio is this tomato? Yes! So, I'm to be asking the clerk these basic questions. I was a little worried, but I was so thrilled to have established communication. I kept asking anyway. Doc equals level. I understand with my ears without having to see it written. Just started thinking that we should keep going. I spotted the cabbage and the Napa cabbage next to the daikon. I was pretty sure those two had a similar name in Giuliamo. That's right, I remember the Napa cabbage name stood out to me during the study session by Ruka. This is a perfect opportunity to ask an expert about it. Phrasing the question was really messy, but she didn't think she understood it. She gave me a huge nod. <laughs> she cocked her head to the side. She probably didn't understand 90% of the question was in Japanese. Well, what the heck? Ah, uh, the store hall clerk held them up in front of me. The cabbage in her right hand, the napa in her left hand. They asked me to choose one. In that case, I'd say... I pointed to the first one that came to mind. She also asked me some sort of question. But the critical world Ashiti is a mystery to me. I wish I could just say I don't understand in these situations. I feel like we looked this one over. I don't speak to the ammo. I probably saw the near something, but unfortunately for me, I didn't know the key component. Yeah, disappointed look at her face. Was she frustrated? Or had there been some mis major misunderstanding? <laughs> <laughs> All I can use in this situation was my body language. I plucked the napa out of her hand and slowly made a triple rub against my cheek. <laughs> I gazed away from the cabbage to napa in the back again. I wonder if I didn't like that one. I didn't want her to think that. I clearly handed the cabbage back and took the cabbage instead, making another gesture. <laughs> Oi! Ay, Rin! You're confusing her! She's about to understand me now how much I like my vegetables now. This poor grocer. <laughs> Please tell me she took home all, all of them. When I got back to Rika's part, I thought to myself again. Just how many vegetables did I buy? This my face, I caused by nodding each time something was recommended to me and never refusing. And even when halfway through this, remember someone was something like, Are you sure about this? My visit tent reached up about the total down price to check out, and she drew some tofu as a bonus, so it wasn't all bad. The problem is, I have no idea what sort of dish I should make from all these ingredients. Uh, Rafano, Rappel. Look between, uh, Rika's notes in my receipt, making notes of spelling in each. They essentially decode a menu entry. Whenever it's alright to take stuff. Hmm, she was like, screw my other clothes, Rika's shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah! All I had to do is write down 
for the names of food items. More importantly, things was to make something that could use all these greens I bought. Guess I can make stir fry, since like I planned all along. But so much, well, there's no reason to use all of them, I guess. But I have a feeling I would only use a little of each, so leftovers wouldn't fit it all in the fridge. Probably wasn't any single recipe where I can use all of them up at once either, though. Eh? Of course, nothing. I can just grill them all in a stew pot. <laughs> I clasped my hands tightly together and watched Rika sniff the air as he entered the room. I just barely finished in time. <laughs> <clears throat> I felt great pipe and Rika pointed to the clay pot on the stove. Ugh. Oh, あの、だからルカは座って待つだけ。私手伝い。いいのいいの。今日は私に全部任せて。I heard her from behind, even as she kept looking back before placing hands on my hip. I stood in the kitchen as if claimed in my own, starting to try my poof in the air. She seemed a little concerned, looking over her one more time as she went to her room. As she changed clothes and came back though, she had a little smile humming her way to the table. I'm waiting for Rin to come in, carrying the pot of nabe, and just immediately sp Tripping and spilling it, and then we find out that the clay pot was something really important to Ruka. That's that's my. <laughs> you cook? You're too dumb to do that. That's also my feel. <laughs> now for pot holders. But first, the trivia. Oh wait, the other thing, the tabletop burner. Where was it? Where was it? Ah! It went all okay. After somehow getting the table slowly set, I took my seat across from Ruka. Up until this point, I only helped clear the table, though now I finally managed to get everything set up from start to finish. This was certainly a big indication of incredible growth, wasn't it? <laughs> the scent of oil vegetables steamed out from the top. I served up Ruka's Persian Forest. Crap, I just realized you didn't like her like or dislike. I decided to give her a little for now and let her help herself afterwards. After dishing up portions for the both of us, I took my seat again, and we caught each other's eyes. I wasn't sure if she's trying to be alive, but she just sat there, sniffing stiffly with a chopstick in her hand. She nodded slightly with a great care, picked up her small dish, and brought it to her mouth. Then she started to sip the broth. After that mistake, she began to blow it. Little tears in the corners of her eyes. Sorry, Ruka. I feel like I should be apologizing for thinking how cute she looks like just then. So what was the verdict? It's good! The food's good! After a slight pause, she smiled. I heard Bone, which means she thought it wasn't bad, right? He wasn't reaching for one of the thickly cut carrots with the chopsticks, so I just kept watching until she finished eating it. I see. Negravas, huh? Well, in that case, wait. Saying that the stupid made there was a problem, wasn't it? Right? No matter how I thought about it. I mean, I got in a failing grade, didn't I? I heard a beat up in my own dish, but I noticed I hardly had any broth, so I scooped in a sweet bowl. Now, how was it? <laughs> Idiot! I glanced over at Ruka just in time to see the slight smile playing in the corner of her lips, which was kind of irritating me. See, okay, guys, this is my um, my small top or bottom identification test that is better than the ones, in my opinion, that exist. <laughs> a bottom will think you're cute, a top will just straight up call you cute. <laughs> I had no idea clue what she was talking about. Anyway, I could deal with a little third food dream for her, and I just had to hurry up and see how it tasted. I 
since the flat bland, barely noticeable hint of flavor that might have not even been there. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't good either. It's completely different than how I imagine it, but why? And my mom taught me not to bother with recipes. Maybe I should have been so timid with the salt. I was trying to make it too healthy. Why didn't I taste it while I was making it? I tried the care too and realized they were still undercooked. It was just simple boiled vegetables, nothing more. And Rika hadn't even complained. Ah, she'd even finished her bowl! I was... I, if I was had to, I had to do it now. I clapped my hand pleadingly. Uh, we still had rice, so as long as I got something to go with it, we'd be alright. I figured I should leave you to my words, so I quickly shoveled the rest of the serving in my mouth and set my chopsticks down. I got like this too deep in thought for a moment before quickly rising from her seat. Aww. I had my ball in my hand, pointing towards the shore, and made it just. Just just swinging both my hands like I'm running. But Ruka just told her to head side to side with a super serious look on her face. Headed up to the kitchen, she poured a small amount of water in a small pot, which she placed on the stove. I wonder if what she's planning. Water came to a boil and she dropped in what looked like a yellow sugar cube. And the scent I smelled somewhere before wafted through the air. Ruka turned off the heat with a small spoon and tasted it. After adding a touch of salt, she took it out, took something out of the refrigerator. That's right, I forgot that she had that. Why the heck did I go shopping without checking what was in the refrigerator first? <laughs> Good luck, Rin. Ricky returned to the table with a small pot in her hand and added its contents to the nabin pot. She used cooking top to gently stir the pot, creating a space in the middle for the vegetables, which to which she added the pork, and more pork, and even more pork until it was packed full. <laughs> then she had a stereo cotton with pot for a while. She skimmed the scum that floated to the surface before quickly squeezing the yuzu into the broth. As if... It was as if the completion of her duty had cut the thread of tension. All I could do was sit there in awe of her skill. At this rate, I was ready to resign myself as a role of eater in the house. <laughs> Can at least leave the menial test to me. <laughs> And so, apologies to Sam, I had to fill her bowl a second time. Ruka, Ruka could smell how whole the house was She wanted to help. She was probably like, oh, there's something in- There's like a broth that you can put in, um, in up there. And Rin was just like, I got this. I tried poking one of the carrots with the cooking chopstick. And it seemed softer after a little while. Ah, uh, I felt something looking at the bottom found a potato that I forgot I even put in there. But these guys, they're soft enough to skewer, were they not? It seemed like there was still a little raw in the middle, so I decided to fast for now. I figured she wouldn't have any idea what I'm saying, but I hoped she would at least understand I was humbled before. <laughs> more pork, more pork, 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 pork. Uh, I like that Rin was like, I was trying to keep it healthy, and Rin was like, more pork. They're growing kids! They're growing! They got it, dang it. Huh? Was she talking about my dish? I had planned to serve myself if Ruka was doing it for me. You made sure I got at least one of everything. I wanted to cry when she included potatoes so they escaped her underneath the Napa cabbage. I knew Ruka wouldn't have made any mistakes. I sipped the broth. What the heck? It didn't look too different from before, but the flavor had completely changed. The seasoning was just right for bringing out the sweetness of the vegetables, and the trace amounts of fat from the meat tied it perfectly together. Plus, there was something else I couldn't quite put my finger on, which... Made my first attempt seem like plain hot water by comparison. That's because that's what it was! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so harsh. I really, I really hated that I didn't have the words to explain. Oh, 
れだとさつまいもはさつまいもになるのかな<笑>いやさつまいもはさつまのいもだからさつまいもなのでじゃがいもも同じように考えるとじゃがのいもになるのね。But in my head I was thinking what is Jaga? It's the name of the country somewhere. <laughs> oh no, I think I was confusing her even more. But the more I saw her repeating me, the more exci excited me. What other kinds of potatoes were there? I wanted her to keep repeating after me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I put it out without thinking it. She confirmed it! I really wish she had denied it. It was like I wanted to keep teasing her. It's just our roles were usually reversed, so I wanted to reveal. Being a teacher in a while. <laughs> yes, yes. I turned around to find that Ruka had gone over to the refrigerator at some point. The object she was pointing to in hand was. Oma. I heard that summer before. Apple was pomo, and potato was tepomo. Wait, that meant. Huh? Ah, uh, small clueless child. He got like a 20 or so more minutes. Did, did Rin... Like she put a potato in the stew and actually put a potato in. <laughs> yes. She put a potato in the stew. Thought she put a potato... Put, put an actual potato in. Heard the name Pomo for apple. And thought it was an apple. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure she actually did put a, a potato in. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Daily regret. Yeah, this is going by real fast. This is going by pretty fast, to be honest. Ah, uh, give me one. Let's let's take a let's take a second, real fast. I just I just want I just want to take a moment. Stretch a bit and bring the clear. Hmm. All right. Um, so let's... <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, whenever I'm playing this game, and I, I, I included this in some of my titles too when I was advertising and things like that. Uh, but when I think about this game... And, uh... Dyslexia. It reminds me that, like, there's a lot of people... Who don't really know that dyslexia can affect how you, like, learn language and stuff. So I think it's, like, really interesting how this... How this visual novel, like, goes through different things to, like, teach... Uh, different types of... Uh, di different teaching methods. Because everyone, I feel like, learns a little bit differently. So watching all those teaching methods and being able to find out which one works for you is really nice. I really appreciate that. Uh... Um... But even with, like, that, right? I... My brain still feels... Small <laughs> and a bit bright. Uh, letters are hard, man. That is a real hard. Alright. You know, something amazing I realized. Let's say I'm over here. If 
I go out of frame for a second, then it'll fill in the frames that I'm missing. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I noticed that earlier. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm taking a deep tour. Okay, alright. Uh, lol, experimentation. Yeah, yeah, experimentation's always good. Okay, let's go back to it. Let's get back to it. When I saw the apples, Rika said, uh, I was filled with embarrassment all over again. No, 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 just no. I just added unsalted imagery after my cooking failure. Juliamo, a potato was called an earth potato, an apple apple, turf was earth, so it added to pomo and made te pomo. Ah, <laughs> uh, a fruit and a vegetable. Obviously, a potato, an apple, and a potato were not the same thing. But in my case, I had always believed that the two were the same. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, today was a new day. Time to forge ahead. I had already filled out my visitando application and registration. Then I had to give my first progress report. I hurried and finished my lunch before rushing off to the office. I wasn't sure that the time they closed, but those kind of places always have closed early. Good girl. I ran like my life depended on it, because it did. I ran reasonably fast for someone who had just finished eating. I relaxed when I saw the friend on the front of the building. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. They closed early, like it's expected, but it was only uh, 1 8 p.m. right now, so I still had time. <laughs> Doors should have been automatic, but when I stood and jumped, even tried to wedge my fingers into the gap to open them, all to no avail. I thought back at the time when I had left, wondering if the watch Aruka gave me was slow, but it wasn't. Today was some kind of government holiday. I wonder if I took another look at the sign out front. That's why I noticed the sign with an arrow next to it. I told me I had sideways like so formed the words and realization Oh, hit me. Oh, it says beep below deck. I had gotten to a point where I could read the Yama modes without trying. Fortunately, there was still a bigger question of what that meant. Hmm, <clears throat> actually, it's pretty sure I had heard the word somewhere before, but I couldn't think of where and it's really frustrating me. How should I resolve this? <laughs> I followed the arrow. And I suddenly realized where I was going. Oh, yeah. This is the library Rick and I had let me do in the first visit. But I couldn't submit my progress for it or paperwork here, so... Hey, it's Ray! <laughs> I sat reflexively when I heard someone call my name. Call out to me. Something clapped my hand over my mouth. Aww. They took your side from side to side, as if to apologize was filed immediately afterwards. I randomly returned your greeting, but it was an incomplete response. The thing she said after, Bonantagon, Kill V Fatas, uh, really bothered me. She was something in the hand that she gave me. Not to mention, I heard it several times by now. You have taught just how are you feeling? How are you doing? I'm assuming it's that one. I have a feeling of something like that. Just asking that right now, how should I respond? Please let me hand over chest high. I can feel my race still thing that Angelina really would be. Even Ruka wouldn't have gotten that. No, she definitely didn't understand. Her head was cocked to the side. I felt like I should be followed by something, but I was too embarrassed to think about anything. I buried my hands in my head, then Miss Ray grinned broadly and stuck out her hand. Ah, that Chunnan, the Ming was she asking to affirm something. 
Uh, Miss Ray moved away from me and walked towards the counter. She's probably saying to have your answer ready by the time I return. Think, think. I was confirming one of the words I heard before. Where she said, holiday, what, what's that again? Oh, oh. Uh, Ruka had used it when she told me it was a school holiday. It seems like there's a reason she had used it. The number of Juliana words I learned so far were similar to English words. It's possible that holiday was the English was the English holiday. That was the only possible answer. At some point, Miss Ray had come back with a stack of papers she's now handing to me. Nervously, I took them, only to find they were just like the study printers I brought home with me last time. These are covered with different material. Huge pile covered with vocabulary and composition. That's when I realized. What had I come here again for? I was a little embarrassed for having redundantly used estas and is, but the most important thing was that she understood. I handed uh, Ray the envelope I brought with me and she checked the contents. While she went over my paperwork, I skimmed over the first page of the new stack of printouts. Hmm. <sighs> so January, uh, February, February, March, April. I like how they all end with end with L. That's very convenient, actually. Uh, yep, yep. I remember all these from my English textbook. Feeling nostalgic, I started moving my finger over them, starting with January. Thanks to the pronunciation key, I was able to read through the animal letters without much effort. But that wasn't the only reason I understood them. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. It helped in a while, but I remember my English teacher telling us, if you can write these, that's 12 points right there. I'd study my butt off, so I definitely know these. This world may be different, but certain things like this were still fundamentally the same. For a sudden speaking of leaving ceremony, I dropped the printouts. She's some kind of ninja or something. I picked all the pages up before I could, and I thought she would hand them back to me. Then for some reason, she looked between the papers to me with a smile. I didn't understand her at all, so I didn't just cock my head. And she sent me one of the vocabulary printouts after slowly flipping over and held four fingers. Quava. It reminds me of the word in the words I learned. Could it be qua for the number four? I married her for holding four fingers myself and got a grin in response. Yes. Her face suddenly fell. Was it my fault had I done something? He just said Aprilo. And I just heard the... I had just seen a word with the same pronunciation. Seeing my response, Ray suddenly nodded her head. Then she gave me back the printout sand. She said, folding her arms stylishly. The way she casually wiggling her three fingers, was she trying to get an answer out of me? January, February, March. In this case, I decided to check my printout to make sure of my answer. She also can't count. <laughs> I didn't have confidence in my pronunciation, but Miss Ray smiled and nodded, so I must have been close enough. Oh ho ho! My answer showed I understood the situation perfectly. I have my ways of figuring these things out. <laughs> I shook my head and shielded myself from Miss Ray and her outstretched around. It must be a lot harder without the printout. That's when I had the realization. I basically been cheating by answering while looking at it. I wanted to show how elegant I could be without answering with flying the steam material. In that case. Ah. Uh, I, I, I think I'm fine. I know I can handle this. I had this. Miss Ray put the printout face down on the side table and slowly cast her cage downwards. Now, how many fingers would you hold up? Deck una, so eleven. Chubine povis ascrutini. La deck una monato. 
Yeah, we're looking for the 11 months. So it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Ha ha ha. She wasn't using her fingers at all. 11. It's 11 month. I rely on your memory. Deck is 10, so the answer is... Uh, November. November! <laughs> Bro, did you say that? Alright, guys. Alright, so... Uh, new dyslexia thing that I'm teaching right now. I can only memorize things in an order, so I don't actually know what the 11th month is off the top of my head, so I gotta go through all of them. So you're gonna hear this a lot. I heard something like, Uno, come after deck, so it had to be in November. Yes, November, the born in memories. You have a good memory, yeah, yeah! Yeah, all right, my intuition was right. Although I didn't really understand the rules, because the pronunciation changed. And you don't understand after another round. <laughs> It might be dyslexia rep. You know, maybe. She kinda... She kinda... <laughs> she has some of them feels, you know? I had a... Like, uh, when she couldn't figure out what her name was, that was... That was real. That was real. I had a bit in computer, so I wanted one more shot. She nodded before folding her arms. She looked up at the ceiling for one second like she was thinking of something. Seppa monato. That might be my head. That be enough? Step up was enough to go off of. Seven, seven, right? Cause that's, yeah, step is to be seven. So it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So it's Julio. Uh, I was really tempted to go with September for a second, but step is seven. Okay, Miss Ray, tell me I'm right. I got home myself for the new printouts and reported the results of my pop quiz. You don't need to see that part of me, Rika Sensei, <laughs> regardless of how I did. I really want to memorize the other ones too. Wouldn't be doing any good if I couldn't write them or say them out loud when the need arose. She was pinching my shoulder, the shoulders of her outfit, tucking it lightly on them. After doing the same thing with her skirt, she said, Change? What kind of change? Change something? Spare change? What saints are in a vending machine? <laughs> Let her change your clothes! A saint swap? Do you want to switch shirts with me? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't it, yeah. We can want to change her clothes now that she was home. I didn't urge her toward the room from behind. Then strangely, just in front of the door, she said. Oh, I turned around to see her beckoning to me. Come with her for a second? What the heck? I thought I just moved... I, I thought as I moved towards her. When did I... When I did, she tilted her head a little. Close? Oh, dress in clothes and come. Equals I'll change clothes and come back. In that case, there are better ways to consider it, but I couldn't criticize. She was also just trying to communicate using the extent of the Japanese, you know. I tried to explain through gestures. I watch her repeat after me and nod my approval. There's still a lot of words I need to learn if Ruka and I were going to be able to understand one another. She 
They came back to the table and continued her explaining as she wrote down the words. We could find the door of her bedroom. She has any change clothes. <laughs> Birthday Rico's proud of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She so hasn't changed her clothes yet. She hasn't. We got to, we, we stopped to learn a lesson. <laughs> uh this guy's just she's telling to tell me something. He got her changing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she was tugging my arm, so I hastily refused. But then she gave rise to a new question. When I asked plenty of the words, me and Krambon, she just... She just written down, putting emphasis on the N. You also go enter my room with me. <laughs> she still didn't. I, I just still didn't really understand, but it sounded like sticking an end on something meant into it. <laughs> oh, very good. We got a very good. Wait, is we could. Wait, what is Rika trying to say? I think we're back at school and I... You also entered my room with me. I think this was in response. <laughs> I think I right in front of me, she explained, made me feel like I was retaining the information. At this rate, I have a feeling I would level up in no time. I walked Rika back to her room as she repeated my words with a determined look on her face. After she closed the door, I heaved a huge sigh. I really wanted to learn as fast as possible, but I couldn't keep... I couldn't keep bothering to her. I had to figure out... I figured the more she helped me, the faster I would learn. But there was a possibility that I'd been, I was just being a pain in her neck. <laughs> she was straight like you got to me. <laughs> She was! She was! My teacher once told me, you carry a word easily, so I tend to blindly rush into things without being aware of your surroundings. You never find yourself acting that way. Stop for a moment and take time to think. Which, of course, fashion would be the best. That was something I would have to consider. Wow! Wow! These scenes go by really fast. I don't know what to do. <sighs> okay, I gotta go start prepping to go uh, eat eat food. I'm gonna go start prepping to go eat food now. All right, I saved the game. We're gonna come back here. All right, uh, let's see here real fast. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, gotta food time. Very much food time. Oh, uh, very very much food time. All right. Let's see here. Who shall we raid today? Who's... Wow. <laughs> ah, man. Alright, we're gonna go say hi to Rainbow Circus again. They're playing some Animal Crossing. Uh, they're very cute. Oh, did I cancel it on accident? That feels the route, right? Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna go say hi to Rainbow Circus. They're good... Uh, good, good, good person. Uh, very fun. I enjoy their stuff a lot. Alright, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye!